So I thought, what could you do with some toilet paper rolls? Since right now everyone is trying to get their hands on toilet paper and there's none in the stores, I thought it'd be kind of fun to take the toilet paper roll and to try to make crafts that are cute and fun to do and that they're more geared toward adults. And so that's what I'm going to do today. So for my first project, I have a, a piece of paper. Actually, it's a piece of cardstock, a toilet paper roll, black paint in this little container so I can stick this in there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in there and make circles all over my paper. And once it dries, I'm going to take watercolor and make it kind of look like a um, stained glass look to it. I think it'll look super cute. So here's what it looks like. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to get my watercolor and then start painting on this. So I have other crafts to do while this dries. So here's my next piece of paper. So I'm going to take this and do the same thing as I did with the other one except this is just going to be random. And I'm going to let the circles dry and then I'm going to take the end of a paintbrush and make little bitty dots inside of it. It'll make more sense once I show you. So for this piece of paper, I'm going to make one circle on it, and I'm going to turn that circle into a picture. So this is kind of like a challenge. I'm going to stick it somewhere, and I'm going to turn it into a picture, and I don't want it to be... I mean, I see a lot, a lot of things on Pinterest and things like that where kids will put this on there and they'll make a flower, which that is cool, but I'm going to try to think outside of the box on this one. So something that I wouldn't normally think of, that's a circle. And I let that one dry now. Okay, so I got my watercolors, have my picture, and my cup of water to use for my watercolors. And so now I'm just going to paint the picture. So this is what it looks like. I completely finished it. Like I said, it did take a long time to do this. It was fun and it was relaxing. And I think it would be cool to do it just like I did it where it has lots of different colors. But I also think it would be cool if you picked like three colors and those were the only three colors you could use. And I think that would look really cool too. So there's really so many things you could do with this pattern or this idea that I have. So I think it's fun, it's simple, and anyone can do it. And you can't really mess up on it. So for my next one, I'm going to take the end of a paintbrush and use these four colors and make the little dots go inside the circles. And I think it will look really cute. I've seen this done on like rocks and things, so I'm sure it'll look just fine on this piece of paper. Okay, so I was just playing around with the first circle, so this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to give each circle kind of a different color and a different design. And like the other painting, there's really no wrong way to do this. It's just about having fun and being creative. So I just played around with making dots. So you can make like circles and keep making the circles until they get smaller. Or you can make like swirls like this or go in straight lines or just make polka dots all over it. So there's really endless possibilities of what you could do. And it's fun. So I have some more circles at the bottom 
and I'm kind of bored or tired of making so many um, dots. It's not really my, my thing. So um, I'm going to turn some of these circles into other things. So I'm probably just going to use markers or colored pencils and try to make them into other things. Okay, so I'm going to try to make this one be a cat. So I'm going to give him pointy ears. And I'm going to give him some eyes. So here's the cat. I went over it with Sharpies and I colored it with colored pencils. And I think it looks cute. So now I have some other circles that need to be transformed. And so I'm going to start working on them now. So I have the cat. Then I may try to make a um, emoji face. I made a bee, a ladybug, a cookie, and a sand dollar. I kind of wish I waited until this paint dried because I did have some accidents in some places where I touched the paint and it stained the paper in other places, but I had a lot of fun, especially with the ones at the bottom. And it gave me so many more ideas of things I could do and make out a circle, so it's a lot of fun. I definitely recommend that one. This is the last one I have, and so it's just a circle on a piece of paper. So the challenge is to take that circle and to turn it into something else. So you want your whole piece of paper to be kind of based off of that circle. So you're going to try to create a scene around it. So this is going to be a um, fishing bobber that sits on top of the waves and it's going to have a hook with a worm on it. And there's going to be some fish in the water looking at it. So that's what I plan on doing with this one. I think I might make another one and have it as a little sand dollar on the shore of the ocean. I think that would be very fun too. So really you can make so many different things out of this. It's fun, it's being creative, and it. I think it's just an awesome activity to do. Not just for kids, but for adults too. So I finished all four of my paintings and drawings. And so you've already seen this one. And you've already seen this one, but here are the two that I uh, used Sharpies and colored pencils on. So I just had one circle on each page and I had to challenge myself and make it into an actual picture. So here is the bobber in the water and the fish are going after the worm. And here is the sand dollar on the seashore.